Hey, what's up you guys? Zero Fats here coming at you on behalf of the Zero Fats Returns YouTube channel, EpicConversions.com. You guys are looking at the uh, 2015 Toyota Corolla. It's not mine, dude. It's just a rental. <laughs> Gotta go look at some dishwashers for my wife, so thought I'd bring you guys with me. So let's get let's get to it. I get a lot of people telling me lately that uh, I'm crazy for shutting down my websites, Adventures on the River, and Affiliate Command, and all that stuff. I think I'm crazy for doing that because I'm taking a hit to my revenue streams but um, I know something they don't know about myself like I'm really really good at not quitting but at the same time I'm really really bad at knowing when to walk away from something if something's making me money if something's doing pretty good um, even if it might not necessarily be making me happy anymore, or even if I might not necessarily want to keep on doing that one thing, I want to kind of do something different. Um, I've been historically very bad at moving on. I just keep on doing what I'm doing because it's working. Right? This car is going to make me put my seatbelt on. But here's what happened, right? So I was into selling physical product on Amazon. It was awesome. Um, uh, but you know look man here's the deal when you run a membership site you tend to learn a little bit about marketing <laughs> you start learning how to get people onto your membership site right it's natural right so I started learning more and more about marketing and um, you know the more I learned about marketing the, the more I wanted to teach about marketing I mean, that, that's what I was learning about I just felt like it was time for a fresh start, you know, a site that was really just dedicated to what I wanted to teach, kind of like Adventures on the River was dedicated to Amazon. I want this Epic Conversions site to be dedicated to, you know, marketing, you know, and that, that's what I want, right? So I have a vision for it and I'm excited about it. Um, now, what, did I have to take a hit to my revenue to shut things down? Yeah, hell yeah, dude. Absolutely, I took a hit. But I mean, look, man, that's the life of an entrepreneur. I mean, you manage your risk, uh, but you can't be afraid to put it all out there on the table. Um, I guess what I'm trying to say is, you know, if you're out there and like you feel like you could make something work, but you're kind of already doing something and it's kind of working. Um, and you're like afraid to like move forward because what you're doing is already kind of working But you just don't like it that much Dude, I mean You got to take a chance man. You got to take your shot, you know, whether something's already working or not, whatever, you know when I first uh, When I first quit my job um, At the uh, department store uh, my dad thought I was crazy, man, and the reason he thought that was because I just gotten offered, um, I just gotten offered a position at NCR. That's the National Cash Register, you know, company. Uh, if you don't know who that is, I mean, they basically work on like uh, computer systems and cash register systems uh, and ATM machines, like all over, all over the world, man. They're worldwide. They're not just national anymore. They're worldwide. But it's a, it's a really big company. It's a successful company. You know, they were going to pay me like 20 something dollars an hour. I want to say they were going to pay me about $24 an hour to come work for them, which is crazy even for them. Uh, but they saw me like as a talent because I was good at fixing, fixing machines. I was good at fixing registers and computers uh, at the department store I worked at. And, uh, you know, they'd send their guys out there to fix stuff when I was having trouble. And it kind of got to a place where, like, I was helping their guys fix stuff. So, like, you know, they, they called me. They wanted me to come work for them. And, uh, 
you know, I turned them down, and then I quit quit working at Myers. Myers is the name of the department store I worked at. Um, but uh, you know, my dad thought I was crazy, man. You know, he's like, "Dude, what are you doing, man? You know, that that's good money, man. You should have took that." You know, and it might have been good money, man. But the thing is, I had a vision for what I wanted to do. And you know, you can be a slave making good money. You see what I'm saying? And so I, I wasn't trying to do that, man. I knew what I wanted to do. So, uh, but like, did that take courage? Yeah, man, it took a lot of courage. That's why I always tell you guys, man, you gotta have like an unshakable like belief in yourself and what you want to do, and and you gotta have faith in your vision, man. You can't doubt yourself. If I would have doubted myself, I would have been lost, dude. I would have took that job at NCR, and you know, I would have been working all the time. I think that you gotta have an unshakable vision in yourself and what you want to do. I was talking to uh, I was talking to Dalton Scott yesterday. Dalton Scott, man, six figure, uh, six figure Kindle guy, man, makes six figures publishing Kindle eBooks. Awesome dude, man. Really, really enjoyed talking to him. Um, but I was talking to him yesterday, man, and. Yeah, we were talking about uh, just um, you know believing in what you wanted to do and uh, having the courage to jump, you know, on, on things. Especially when you're at that place, man, where you're kind of doing something and it's kind of working, but uh, you know you kind of want to do something else, but you don't know if it's gonna work. You know what I mean? And I say, hey, man, tears in a bucket. You know what I'm saying? But as far as I'm concerned, I got one life, you know? I don't plan on uh, wondering what might have happened or what, what could have possibly happened. I mean, I'm I'm in it to win it, dude. And that's, that's all there is to it. You know, I'm, I'm moving on with what I have a passion for and what I want to do. And I recommend all you guys out there, if you got something that's going on, it's kind of working and it's paying the bills, it's doing pretty good. But uh, that's not quite where your passion is anymore. And you really want to do something else, but you don't, you don't know if it'll work or not. I suggest, uh, you know, <laughs> I, mean, I, I suggest you know you know pulling pulling out your nuts man and, and rolling that's that's what I suggest I suggest you uh I suggest you man up man you cowboy up and uh do what you want to do live life like there's not gonna be a tomorrow because you really just don't know man I want to be remembered by my kids man as the dude who always took a shot no matter what in case you don't know man i have a family of four i'm going to buy a dishwasher right now i take care of my family so i want you guys to understand saying you can't do internet marketing and you can't make money online because you got a family to take care of is not an excuse there's no reason why you can't try to make something happen there's no reason why you guys shouldn't be out there taking shots there's no reason for it the only thing holding you back is yourself. A lot of people might think I take risks. A lot of risks. Um, I'd say if you think that, like my dad thought I took a risk not taking that job, uh, it's not really a risk when you have unshakable vision. When you have a vision for what you want to do and you know what you want to do, it's not really as much of a risk. And, uh, People who really know me understand how much I strategize things. Strategize your moves, man. You're playing a game of chess. And then, you know, don't be afraid to jump. Strategize it and go, man. Well, they didn't have any there. Yeah, they said they could order one on me. They could order one for me online, but they didn't have any portable dishwashers in stock. We rent. So we can't like install an interior dishwasher. We need a portable. So, all right, we're got to we're got to take this party to Lowe's. Man, I bet they I bet they don't even. Let me see if Lowe's has a good portable dishwasher. I'm looking for dishwasher on on wheels. You know what I'm saying, you guys? Home Depot annoys me, dude, because of this whole like you know 
not helping me thing. Like, I can't ever get any help when I go there. It's like I always got to track somebody down. I got mad at him last time I was there. So that's a big deal, man, making sure that customers are taken care of. So anyways, I'm going into Lowe's. With any luck, man, I'll have a dishwasher when I get done. All right, I'm back. Lowe's didn't have them either, man. So that means, man, I'm trying to get the hang of this rental car. I just put that thing in drive. Let's put that thing in drive. It's like a B. Look what's in front of me. <laughs> it's a BMW right there in front of me, man. Let's put this dumb rental car in drive instead of reverse. Thinking about these stupid dishwashers. And now, getting ready to run into the Beamer. Well, this is funny, man. This whole day is turning into an analogy, man. Like. It's the same thing as an entrepreneur, man. It's just like becomes a mentality to either grow, go through the problems, go around the problems, go over the problems. I mean, you don't even think about it. It's just second nature. It's just like, how, how do I solve this problem? It's like right now, like I've already decided, man, I'm not gonna just drive around here like a fool looking for portable dishwashers. Um, I'll just order it online, man, have it delivered to my house. You know what I mean? That'd be easier for me. So, problem solved, you know what I'm saying? Problem solved. nice Saturday afternoon it's uh, crazy man for February we're in uh, late February here and uh, it's nice man it's like 70 degrees outside unbelievable it should be a lot colder than it is right now but uh hey I'm not complaining man I'm not gonna complain it's great out here so anyways 